because last summer I went to a birthday party from a guy from North Portland, and he turned like it was either 108 or 111. At that same place? Same area. And yeah, I same area. Town. You got to meet him. Yeah, I got to meet him. It was so cool. He was so sharp. You know what he said? No alcohol. No alcohol? That was his there Now, you go. You in know. all fairness, we've done those stories <laughs> of the people that lived and they say, I smoke a cigar, eat yeah, bacon and eggs, I just think it's and either drink every not. day. We've done those stories <laughs> exactly, too. Exactly. Yeah. So, no. Must just be good genes yeah. or something. Okay. Oh. Man, the rain has not stopped. That's what now. I was going to say. No. I can't believe Quit. it. Yeah, it just came in. You know, it's just like, what? Yesterday was 64 yeah. and sunny? Like, how did that happen? Uh, yeah, so it has definitely changed. Here's a look at the uh, time lapse, and you can just see that rain. It just doesn't quit as you take a look back out towards uh, uh, the Moda Center there. And, of course, it continues to come down. This is our view from Vancouver where showers continue to come down here as well. We're in the upper 40s, both in Vancouver and in Portland. So temperatures have stayed really steady uh, tonight. We'll drop by a few more degrees, and that's going to be about it. So how much rain have we gotten today? Uh, most of us more than a quarter of an inch. So we're nearing half an inch in some spots. So uh, over three-tenths of an inch in Portland. Same thing for Vancouver. And uh, close to three-tenths of an inch back down towards Salem, Corvallis and Eugene as well. Uh, we are clearing out some of the rain for Portland, so run out right now if you want to catch some dry time. We will have to watch out for a few more showers and move in later tonight. Look what's happening back to our south and west. So it's not going to stop all the way just yet. We're going to continue to see that rotate through. Some of those could be on the heavy side, like I mentioned earlier. But by the time we get to tomorrow morning, when you wake up after the sun rises, we will start to see a lot of this activity start to back off. And Saturday looks pretty decent. So. We start off with showers for the Cascades. Uh, right now, we're still looking at those snow levels up around six, seven thousand feet. So uh, it's still coming down as rain right now. But by tomorrow morning, I think we will switch over to uh, snow to maybe get another inch or so going of, of snow on top of the rain that's coming down tonight. And then we just dry things out. Take a look at this. This is the lunch hour. Skies are mostly cloudy, but there are going to be a few breaks in the clouds. So maybe we can get some sunshine going for that late brunch tomorrow or lunchtime. And then we go into the afternoon, and the clouds stay steady, but no rain. And east of the Cascades, we're back to the sunshine. So a fairly dry day ahead. It may not be 64 in sunshine, but 58 and cloudy is not looking too bad either, considering tonight especially. By Sunday, though, it all changes again, and we wake up first thing in the morning. Back to the rain coming down. We'll have a mix of rain and snow for the mountains, and then cooler air moves in behind it. So that's going to keep us much cooler for Sunday afternoon. It'll also keep that potential for showers to pop up from time to time. We'll start off with rain at first, and then it's going to be on and off showers, some on the intense side for Sunday afternoon. Uh, so we'll get some sun breaks going here and there, but it will be very wet at times. And we'll start to see those snow levels come down all the way to the passes by Sunday evening. So it should be a good, nice dose of snow for our ski resorts by Sunday night into early Monday morning. Morning. So your forecast for your Saturday, not looking too bad. A few lingering showers early on, then just mostly cloudy. Highs in the upper 50s. Some of us will try to even hit 60 degrees. East of the Cascades, 40s and 50s with partly cloudy skies. Sunday, winds pick up for the coast. It'll be blustery in the mountain. I-5 temperatures in the low 50s and definitely wet at times. And then we go into Monday and we dry things back out again. So here's your seven-day forecast. So the weekend, a much drier for Saturday versus Sunday. Upper 50s back to low 50s. And the next week, Kind of up and down as far as the uh, temperatures and the rain goes. Mid to upper 50s for highs, most days in the mid 50s, which is close to normal. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday look, look like the wettest days next week, but uh, not looking too bad. It just won't look like the week we had this week. We just, it was a nice treat, you that know. Glorious Thursday we had. That Everyone's Thursday. still talking about it. <laughs> I'm no. still thinking about it. We remember. <laughs> it was great. Well, <laughs> still ahead.